Hi, and welcome to the Bible Tribe with Seeing Deep Ministries, where we see deep in a shallow world and overcome the battles of the mind with the Word of God. When people don't accept us, the rejection can hurt so deeply. If it is a toxic relationship, they will try to hurl blame and shame upon you. But we don't have to stay in that situation, friends. As we follow Jesus, we see that he loved everyone, but he did not tolerate abuse from others until he willingly chose to lay down his life on our behalf. Byron, today is from Mark chapters 5 and 6, and the verse of the day is Mark 6, verse 11. Any place that does not receive you or listen to you as you go out from there, shake the dust off the soles of your feet as a testimony against them. Providing a little context here, the disciples were being sent out by Jesus, and Jesus was instructing them in how they should go. Jesus himself knew what it was like not to be accepted by his own hometown, and he was preparing those who followed him that they too would encounter such rejection from men. Friends, we're not called to be like this world. This will earn us judgment by the world, but this does not mean we have to stay there and take it. We can remove ourselves from abusive or toxic situations. And ultimately, what we are dealing with is a spiritual matter. It does not have to do with us. Attacks on us are really about our faith more than they are about us. It is an attack from the enemy of our souls through other people. When we can choose to not take personally someone else's unacceptance of us, we begin to see the freedom Christ brings us. Jesus did not promise us it would be easy, but he did promise to go with us. Stay on mission, friends. Love those who persecute you and just press on. We may have to leave a place for a while while God changes hearts, but we can always pray for others. Keyword, I chose the word shake, which is the Greek word ektenoso. The Vines Dictionary said of casting down from a sense of security, and Acts 2.25 says, I should not be moved. We cannot let others tear us down or the message we carry. Shaking off their insults, we walk in the mind of Christ. Thought of the day, don't stop the work of God just because you're not received by others. And the application? Keep going, friends. God is with you. Go with God and His precious Word. And tune in tomorrow as we head back into the book of 1 Corinthians.